everyone. Rachel 5 here. Letting you know right now in our store we got limited edition Rachel 5 shirts. Woo! You can check them out at our merch store at NewscapePro.com. Link is down in the description or at the end of the video. So if you want to rep your boy, I mean girl, Rachel 5, make sure you get these t-shirts while they last. Enjoy the video. You might have one now, Mr. Wick. But I'll return stronger. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Oh, I... Oh, he just told me. 27 years. <laughs> oh, I'm back. It must have been 27 minutes, not years. <laughs> Silly me. Must have got the conversion rate wrong. Ugh, what a day. Just want to go home and watch some friends. Because I don't have any. Not after John Wick stole my new friend. I mean, I was going to eat him, but still. Oh, man. Back to my crummy apartment. And crummy wife. And crummy kid. And crummy off-screen baby. Honey, I'm home. Welcome home. How was your day? Ugh. Not so good. Peekaboo. Aw, what happened? You want to talk about it? Share your feelings with me? Ugh. Well, it's just people don't find me scary anymore. I think it's all those darn radio and moving picture clowns. I mean, if you want to support this family, you really got to work a lot harder at that, you know? Ugh, I'm trying my best, Peekaboo. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get upset with you. Well, you, you really shouldn't be judging me. I'm the one that's going out there and doing everything. Well, you know, if the scares aren't really bringing in the money anymore, you can always go and work with your brother at the coat factory. He did offer you that job two years ago when you started this whole scare business. Oh, sure. Just compare me and my brother. Well, you know, he is more successful than you with that coat factory business. I don't want to hear any more about the coat factory. Okay, okay, I'll drop it. Did you remember to pick up some milk? Did I? Oh my god. You know I only drink liquefied fear. You know that, Peekaboo. You know, I'm here all day long and I clean your house and I cook your food and you don't even want to eat it and you couldn't even just... No! I am so mad right now. I'll just save it. You woke up the baby. You're not even here with it all day. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm going back to the sewers. At least the sewers are quiet. I'm out of here. And now I should really consider marriage counseling. But who has the time for that? I wonder if other marriages are struggling as hard as mine is. Sunstra, it's so great to have our son Francisco back. Oh, oh sorry. Or should I call him Cloak Star? <laughs> he has quite the vivid imagination, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at him over there. Before you know it, he's going to be on a PGA tour. Blast, I'm terrible at this game. Must be something with this pickaxe. Couldn't be my lack of skills. Yeah, so I was thinking we should probably enroll him at school. I think he's a little old for school, huh? Kind of missed that stage. Just because he's a ninja warrior doesn't mean he's exempt from education. Remember, the pen is sharper than the sword. Whatever that means. I didn't go to school. Heads up. Whoa. Ah, oh, geez, I watch where you're hitting that thing. My bad. Sorry, Dad. By the way, I don't want to ruin the family bonding or anything, but I don't think we have much time left to be playing golf. We have all the time in the world, son. Truly, we do not. Oh, come on, let's soak in the rays, enjoy the sunshine while it lasts. The cube, enforcer, all that stuff ringing a bell, kind of important. All right, tell you what, we'll rally the troops, we'll hit up this enforcer guy, tell him what's what, and then we'll play another round of golf. Yeah, the first part of that, saving the world, is solid. With that second part, I already booked this in for another tea time. Now we gotta go find this enforcer, or there won't even be a planet to play golf on. Judge Strider, none of our son has returned to us. It's like we're the happiest family ever. Yeah, you're right, Steve. I love you, and we're the best. 
You know, our marriage is so rock solid. Yeah, it's like something stronger than rock. It's like diamond solid. Because diamonds are forever, baby. Dad, end of the world's coming, and we have to save it. That sort of thing. You know, I really hope this lady can help me. I mean, she doesn't have a doctorate or anything, but she's a self-proclaimed expert at marriage counseling. You must be the creepy clown lady, my four o'clock. Come in, come in. Okay, thank you. So, what brings you here? I mean, besides the failed marriage, of course. Well, that's exactly it, Rachel Five. My husband and I, we're having so many marriage problems. All of the marriage problems. Every single one of them. Well, we like to call that in the business a really bad marriage. So you need me to sort it all out for you. Can you help me, Oprah? I mean, Rachel Five. I'm like really good at marriages. Because when I married Omega, I mean, we stayed together for a long time. And we're like super happy together and I think I'm rich because of it. Uh, okay. All right, so this is what men like. Redecorate your entire apartment. Spray paint stuff all over the walls. Spend all the money on your credit cards. Act out for attention. Act out for attention. Okay, okay. Be like super clingy, but then when he tries to get close, push him away. Like a hard push or like a small shove or like a, a hip bump. The key is to be totally erratic. Have no patterns at all. Just be crazy. And make sure to just completely change your look. Just to, you know, shake things up a little bit. Maybe take that horrendous clown mask off. You're good, you. You know, you really are a self-proclaimed expert in the field of marriage counseling. Plus, you're probably going to have to kill his mistress. He has a mistress! And lastly, what you need to do is bring another man into the situation. Just to give him a bro to hang out with. Make him think a little bit. You mean like, you know, his his brother, the one who runs, who owns the coat factory that I've been trying to tell him to get a job with for a while? Or like... No, 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 no nobody knows. Just somebody who's like really buff and like maybe has like armor. Who was that guy that you were married to? Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, borrow my husband, my ex-husband, Omega. It was mutual. If it worked with you, then it might as well, it must be a solid thing, you know? Well, anyways, your time's up. Get out of here. Go. That was only like two minutes. I thought a regular session's about 40-45. Listen, we, we don't all revolve around you. No wonder your marriage is failing. Just get out. All right, Rachel Five. I'ma take your advice to heart and I'ma save my marriage. Ugh, another crappy day. Not a single person to scare. So, Huh? Who's this guy? That's Omega. Oh, I'm Omega. I needed a place to crash, so I thought I would... Well, uh, here I am. Are you sure this is cool? He, he doesn't seem happy about this. No, no. Rachel Five said this is what we had to do. We needed another man in the house for him to be friends with. Honey, what the heck? I, you changed your face? It looks so ugly. But I thought you'd really like it. You know, it's a change up from the regular that we've had for the past 24 years. Or however long it's been. The regular was beautiful. Your big scary clown face, that was a staple of who you were. And now you're just some lady with crap on her face. Hey, I don't want to interrupt. Maybe I should just, uh, maybe I should just go. I, I can just get out of here. No, no, no. Stay. Dinner's almost ready and we're having lasagna. Ooh, lasagna. Oh, yeah. You must stay. You must stay and enjoy our delicious, terrible cooking. Uh, no, I'm, I'm all right. Are, are you sure? You know, the, the instructions from the, from, you know, Rachel Five were to... I need you. I need you to stay. Whoa, 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 okay. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, you just sit right there. Don't move a muscle while we figure this whole situation out. Why don't you just put your mask back on, honey? I heard that you know changing a couple things up in the relationship might help, and you know taking the mask off might be a a good way to shake things up and. In the marriage. What are you talking about? Oh my god, you you sounded like your mother. You don't like what I've done with the place? It's horrible. You just graffitied our walls. 
You don't think I see enough graffiti in the sewers at work every day? Oh my god, I can't stand this. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. This is horrible. Wait, no, you can't leave yet. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Peekaboo. We scared him. We scared him together. Oh, honey, that's so wonderful to hear. I'm so happy. Baby, we're back. We're back in business. I can scare again. Keegan Wells asks, when is Omega and Fate going to have children? Well, Keegan, as much as I love Omega and I want to be with him forever, I could never mess up this perfect body by bearing Omega's children. Sorry, Omegi. 